Now we're going to get into the maths of updating this, the angles for the pies. So what we're trying to update is actually the angle that is here so that when we open, depending on the values, the pie will open proportionally to the values uh, in context of the other values on the percentage of 100%. So to do this, whoops, 90, not 900. To do this, uh, a pie chart, a, a few things that are, that, are, that, are, that are to consider is that the pie number one here will always, the first angle here will always be zero. So slice two here will always be zero. We never want the pie to start like this. We're, we're going to assume that it always starts at zero. And the last pie, now it's number four, but the last pie will always finish at 360, or like I said, 359, 359 degrees, which for the 360 degrees, the full circle is 360 degrees. So the first one is always at zero, the slice two, and the slice from for the last one will always be 350. The rest is we need to update with the values, so depending on the, on the values that we entered. So if you took a, take a look at this between slice one and slice two, or pi one and slice pi one and pi two, there's a slice here that I'm going to refer to as slice one. What you'll notice is that if I take a look at pi one, it goes to 90, and this one here start at 90. Slice two is 90. Same thing here. If we take a look at this one, the 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 green pi slice up to 180. And this one here starts at 80 and goes to 270. And this one here starts at 270 and ends at 360. So you see that there's three values that we need to calculate. And the at the edge here, the value, the angle value is shared between pi 1 and pi 2. So pi 1 and pi 2 share the value. So when I'm going to refer to the slice value, this is the slice angle where we go from pi 1 to pi 2. So we need to find, in the case of four pies, we need to find three values, slice 1, slice 2, and slice 3. So slice 1 is between 1 and 2, slice 2 is between 2 and 3, and slice 3 is between 3 and 4. And like I said, 0 and the last one, this one here is always constant at 0 or 360 degrees. So that's very important to understand before we go into this. So I'm going to select pi 1, and I'm going to go into the controllers, uh, the, the track, uh, track view, and I'm going to go and find the slice from value in the cylinder object. So we see radius, slice on, slice from. So the slice from value is the one that we need to calculate based on the values that are entering. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to assign a controller and I'm going to assign a float script which is here and it's going to bring the float script window. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the basics of the calculation for all of the slices and even if this controller only is interested in slice one we're going to calculate the three here and then we're going to copy the controller uh, multiple times so that we don't have to do it again and again. So what do we need to do? We know that the uh, the full circle is it is 360 degrees. So the 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 slice will be a fraction of 360 degrees. So the the, the for the slice number one, it's going to be the value that the slice one represent divided by the total of all the values. So we, that's the way we normalize this. So 360 degrees. So if we have a value, let's say that value one is 100 and all of the, of the rest are zero, that means that the value divided by the total will be 100 divided by 100. That means that it's going to be the full 360 degrees. But if value one is 50 and the second one is 50, value will be 50 divided by 50 plus 50. That's going to be uh, 50 over 100. So that, that means divided by two. So what we're going to get is an angle of 180 degrees. So that's a way to normalize the value. So the value here uh, is going to be, uh, in our case, uh, the value one, and we, that's the value that, that's the that's the value that will be interested for slice one. Slice two, I'm going to show you that a bit later. It's it's, it's going to be the value one plus the value two, but we're going to calculate that in a few seconds. So the total here is going to be value one plus value two plus value three. So I'm going to call that value one plus value two plus value three plus value four. Sorry, because we have a, a four pi. So I'm going to say value value four, value three and value 4. So that's going to be my total. The thing about the total, and I'm going to delete all of this so that we can focus only on the total here. So value 1, value 2, value 3, value, oops, value 3. You see that's the thing when you write script you can make mistakes all the time. So value 1 plus value 2 plus value 3 plus value, th value 4, all of those values added and I'm going to 
use lowercase here. When they're added, that's the total of all the values. So if this is equal to zero, we're going to be in trouble because we never want to divide by zero. So what I'll do is I'll do an if statement. And I'll say if all of this is not equal to zero, then do whatever is in here. And if ever, <clears throat> if ever it's equal to zero, I'll say else, and I'll give it just a default, a default value, and it's going to be a value of 90 degrees, which is the starting point. What we're trying to calculate now is the slice value, uh, slice value one. So 90, and 90. The the thing about 90 is that it's it is 90 degrees. In the user interface, it says 90, but the controller at the script level, it's in radians. So what we have to do is to say deg two rad, which means that it's going to take the value of 90 degrees and it's going to convert it to radians and it's going to save it as 90. So that's kind of the idea. So that's going to be my total and uh, that's going to be my default value if ever it goes wrong. Now we need to define what is the value of slice one and what I'll do here is I'll say my last value that I communicate with this script controller, I'm going to call that slice one. Then I'm going to calculate it in angles. So I'm going to say deg two rad and the value of slice one. And all of these here, the the the, the those are, are are variables that I'm going to create in a few seconds. And I'm going to just put it. To, I'm going to add a tab here so that it's easily um, uh, distanciated from the if value if, if uh, statement here at the top. <clears throat> so what we have. If the value of the total is not zero, then do the following, and we're ready to start to do the calculation. So slice one, whoops, slice one, the calculation for it, it's equal to, and we said 360, 360 times the top, the top will be value one, so value one, divided by the total, and the total will be value, whoops, value one, plus, and I'm sure I'm just going to copy this so that's going to be easier. Copy, and I'm going to make less mistakes. So the slice here will be 360 times value one divided by the total, and we are going to put a final parenthesis to that here, and that's going to be our slice one. And uh, just to show you, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to copy this and say slice two, which is the uh, where slice two and three communicate. So slice two and three communicate there. I'm going to say value one, but it's not going to be. It's going to be. It's not going to be value two here because remember that we start from zero. So if we start from zero, we we need to add value one plus value two to find that final slice here. So I'm going to say value one plus value two, two, and I'm going to close this here. Going to create a parenthesis because uh, we we want the the plus to always be in between parentheses, especially when you divide after. So value one plus value three is going to give us where that slice number two is. So that's going to be value one. That's going to be slice one. Value one plus value two. It's going to give us the uh, the angle here for slice two. And I'm going to do the same thing here for slice three. Here we go. Slice three value one plus value two plus value three and on the total which is value one dollar so the same thing and now we are only interested in slice one but the beauty is that now that i've done all the mathematics here by copying and pasting in the same controller i can copy and paste that scripted controller with all the settings that i'm going to create here all the connections that i'm going to make and the only thing that i'll have to worry about is just to, to say well if in, if i'm trying to get slice two i'm just going to go here and say slice two and we're going to be able to find slice two immediately because we have to reuse the same controller for multiple settings inside of the uh, inside of the system. So that we're now that we're done with this, value one, value two, value four don't represent anything yet. So we need to connect those. So I'll say value one. Whoops, value one. I'm going to create a variable of that name. Value two, create. Value three, create. And value four, create. Value one. I'm going to assign it to my objects and I'm going to find my control object which is here inside of my control object in the modify object attribute older I should see somewhere value one so I'm going to connect that to here so that's my value one assigned to track value two will be assigned to value two okay value three assigned to track we're going to do the same thing value three and value four 
assign to track value four. Now our system is set up to calculate slice one. So let's evaluate this and see if it works. So now we have our um, and evaluate. Actually, it should be it should be pretty much 90 degrees because value one. If we go back to our controller, they're all the same. But if I do change it here, you see that the value affects the angle of uh, pi number one but it doesn't affect pi number two so that's why what we need to do in order to keep our life simple i'm going to close this one go back to the uh the track view grab the uh, slice from the controller that is here whoops slice from i'm going to grab the controller and say copy i'm going to grab this guy here and i'm going to say the second pi sorry the second pi i'm going to go here and say slice two i'm going to right click and say paste i'm going to make oops it seems to be a, i seem to have a display issue here so let me just grab this one again and let me grab the slice from right click and say copy the controller that's what i want to do and this one i want to paste the controller here paste here we go i want that to be a copy so it's created a copy. I'm still interested in slice one, which is great. The slice from, which is the, the, the sorry, the slice from, which is going to be our slice two here. I'm going to go here and say paste. I'm going to make it a copy. I'm going to double click. And here I'm interested in slice two because that's the second position. I'm going to say evaluate and close. I'm going to grab the pi number three here. Do exactly the same thing. Find my cylinder. Find my slice two right click and say paste make it a copy double click here i'm interested in slice two evaluate and close slice from paste copy here we go i'm gonna go here and say i'm interested in slice three evaluate and close and uh here we go in the last one we need to go and find the slice two paste the same controller make it as a copy double click to edit it and we're interested in slice three evaluate and close so now if I go back to my controller if I change value one you see that all of the pies will change and it works perfectly so if I just say well this one here is set 50 let's say this one is set at 120 uh, this one is set as 150 this one is set a maybe a 300 so you see that all of these are adjusted to show you the correct percentage on the 360 degree um, uh, uh, rotation for the cylinder so that's kind of the idea we have all of this done but you see that the text is uh, is not moving we have to look at the helpers here the points uh, and actually you know what I'm gonna make sure that we I'm gonna go back here and say page up and I'm gonna call that uh, helper underscore one so I know which one they are I'm gonna grab this one here and say page up I'm gonna call that helper two helper underscore two I'm gonna grab this one here page up page up uh, and that's gonna be helper three helper three and this one here will be helper four up uh, helper four there we go so those helpers uh, if I take a look at the, uh, the, 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 what we're trying to do is I'm going to go back to the values. Uh, I'm going to bring all of those values back to uh, 100 here. So let's say 100 and say copy, paste, paste, and paste. So this is the default one. The line here, we want it to be in the middle of the pi. So if we take a look, if we think about the way that we uh, did it before, value 1 was the slice here so value one divided by two is right in the middle here so that's kind of the idea for where we want to put that rotation if we wanted to find that one here it's right in the middle of value two so in the of value two but it's also we need to start from zero so that's going to be value one plus half of value two so that's the controller that we want to do and the only thing that we need to affect is the helper rotation here so if i grab the helper and i'm sure i'm going to start with helper number one and pull helper number one and uh, I'm gonna go into the control track because we already did a controller that is very similar to that actually I'm, I'm gonna make sure that I choose the right rotation angle here the right rotation axis if I select this one and I do uh, do a rotation in Z so that's the Z rotation that we want so that's perfect I'm gonna undo this 
and if I go back to my track view, I'm going to affect the Z rotation and uh, I'm going to right click and say paste my controller as a copy. We, al we already had it selected. So I'm going to, oops, I'm going to double click on the rotation and we see that we already have all of this connected and I'm going to keep the value of slice one, but I'm going to call that value one divided by two. And that's going to be the position for my, uh, my I, I can also call it, I don't know, line one. So that's going to be easier. Line two is going to be in line three. Line three. And line four, we're going to do it at the end. But line one is value one divided by two over the whole thing. Uh, value, uh, val line two will be value one plus value two divided by two. Line three will be value one plus value two plus value three divided by two, whoops, divided by two, and line four, copy. That's gonna be line four, plus value one, value two, value three, plus value four, divided by two, whoops, made a mistake here. So plus value four divided by two. And here we're going to put it to line one. That's the rotation that we're looking for. They like to rag all of this. So I'm going to say evaluate. And now what's going to happen is that it should be right in the middle there. As we can see, that's good. That's right in the middle. So we're going to copy that controller. So I'm going to make sure that I select it, copy it. And we're going to do the same thing for helper number two. So I'm going to select helper number two. Helper number two, we are going to paste on Z rotation and make it a copy and edit it. So instead of line one, that's going to be line two. Evaluate, close, make sure that it's in the right position. That's it. Oh, well, we're going to leave it for now. We'll leave it like this for now. That's kind of uh, useful. Uh, and I'm going to select helper number three. Here we go. So helper number three, we're going to paste it on rotation here. And when it's on rotation, double click, and we are interested in line three. Evaluate and close. And then the last one here, helper four, we are going to select helper four and paste on the controller here. And we can just select line four and evaluate and close. And if we go back here to our full value, and I'm just going to make this one a bit bigger so let me just close this one and uh, here we go anyway we'll, 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 we'll deal with it for, for a second so if I go back to my control object here you'll see that if we change the value the text is rotating as well and this is rotating as well this is rotating correctly and this is rotating correctly as well. And you see the, the 360 here that I'm talking about. Sometimes you get this little glitch. That's why you don't you don't want it to be uh, at 360 at full 360. You want it to be to be at 359.99999. Anyway, so that's kind of the idea here. In the next video, we're going to see how to finalize this by publishing it to the uh, the menu system.